a chill in the air at the start of the World Economic Forum on Tuesday as participants expressed far less confidence in the global economy than they did last year. I'm Conway Giddens inside the Congress Center. Right from the start, some titans of global finance sounded the alarm. Ray Dalio, which runs Bridgewater Associates, the biggest hedge fund in the world, warned that economic growth in the U.S. and Europe will slow significantly. Now, to further that point, Axel Weber, chairman of UBS, said rate hikes in the U.S. and Europe are dead, at least for now. It's a personal treat for me to be sitting here asking you questions. And the warnings coming out of Davos weren't just of the financial kind. In a sit-down chat with Britain's Prince William, noted naturalist Sir David Attenborough had some stern words about the environment. It's difficult to overstate it. Um, we are now so numerous, so powerful, so all-pervasive, the mechanisms that we have for destruction are so wholesale and so frightening that we can actually just exterminate whole ecosystems without even noticing it. But there was no gloom or doom coming from Brazil's new far-right president, Jair Bolsonaro. He used his first star turn on the world stage to say South America's largest economy, though sputtering, is ready to once again fuel global growth. We are here because in addition to deepening our ties of friendship, we want to deepen our trade relations. We have the world's largest biodiversity, and we have abundant mineral riches. We want partners with technologies so that this marriage can be turned into progress and development for all. Our actions, make no mistake, will attract you to big business opportunities, not only for Brazil's benefit, but also for the benefit of the whole world. Bolsonaro is just the first of many world leaders to speak at the forum. Germany's Angela Merkel will serve as a flag bearer for the G7 on Wednesday, with most of her counterparts kept away by troubles at home.